Now what I've got in here, it's another army surplus one. This is a Dutch army mesh tent. Hello there, I hope you're well. Just been doing a camp out on the solar farm again and tested a couple of new bits of kit out. So let's have a look, shall we? Right, I've just taken the tarp down to make it easier to get to. So what you're looking at there is the Dutch Army mesh tent. The whole idea of this is it is geared to do like I've done on here to put on a camp bed or cot. Now I don't have the Dutch Army cot, but I've still managed to make it work. I think you can see here, I've tied this down, pegged it out. I've done that on all four corners and that's completely stopped it from, uh, from moving around. It's quite stable on there. Slept in there fine last night. I do like that at the back. It's got a nice pocket at the back and it's got a pocket here. I actually had my clock in there and a temperature gauge and lamp just sat in there and it worked really well. It's got good zips that work in this uh, T formation. There you go. And there's Velcro at the back, which seals the whole lot in place. There you go, so, uh, which is quite good. These loops here, these are the ones for actually attaching to uh, the official cot. But as you can see, they're not quite in the right place. It doesn't matter though. So it's just two poles that go through here. And then uh, clips to clip on. Basically, when you're putting this up, it's a bit like a tent where you put the inner up first, and because that's effectively what it is. The difference between this and some of the other mesh tents, I believe DD do one, is this. Now, if you buy one of those ultralight mesh tents, what you're gonna end up with is a fabric at the bottom that is just too thin to actually trust using on the ground. And what you'll end up doing is you'll end up buying a ground sheet or some additional footprint sheet to put underneath it. And I don't know about you, but I think that's a bit of a con because what it means is you're having to spend more money and it's not as ultra light as they're actually making out because you need additional kit to actually make it functional. But with something like this, which is considerably cheaper, I bought this from Military Mart. I'll put some links in the uh, comment and descriptions. And it was about 32 quid, I think, including postage. Not an awful lot, a fraction of the price of the DD ones and, and, and other ones, other branded ones. And I don't think you can fault that. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit heavier than the ultralight ones, but as I say, it is utterly functional from the get-go. This is quite a nice feature here too. That's like a boot end. So uh, you can actually put your boots and stuff in that end. It's just part of the army aspect, isn't it? But yeah, I like that. Those guy tie apps, they'll be staying, they'll be staying attached. It did come with four pegs as well. It does come with some instructions for attaching it to a cot or onto ground. But if you know what you're doing with a tent, you don't really need those. So what do you think? I like it. I've got used to kind of hammock camping and being able to see out and having a more open view. I kind of wanted something for summer like that. I, I really like the One Tigris backwards bungalow for that very reason. You can leave the kind of tarp frontage up. You can see out and I like that. And I wanted something with a bit more of that that would actually keep the bugs out in summer. Because I haven't mentioned yet that this is really fine mosquito netting and it's fine enough to keep midges out. I am really impressed with that, I love it. It does have those nice little tie backs too, so you can tie the doors open. Can't beat it. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like it. And as I say, I'll put some, description, uh, some links in the description and comments as I always do. If you like this, you know what to do. If you don't like it, you know what to do. If you like what I'm doing, you know what to do. <laughs> hit the bell, hit subscribe, and then you'll get notifications whenever you open up YouTube, whenever I've uploaded some more marvelous stuff. All right, you take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Cheerio.